Yeah, we're not doing that. Hey, everybody, it's Carl from Morning Podcast. I got Mikey with me here on the keyboard. On the keyboard, on the computer 5000. And today I am going, well, one of the things today, well, today I'm going to talk about some pricing issues. Like, I don't want to be angry, but I just want to put it out there. And we're going to talk about WizKids and Games Workshop and various other companies. Okay. What do you what do you what do you know about WizKids miniatures for D and D? I know that a lot of people that play here like to shop with them, but I also know that there's been controversy from our customers. Yes. Around their pricing. That's all I know, and the quality of these miniatures. Why have they complained about the quality? Just I've had I've had a couple of customers just have issues with it breaking or just you know this part broke off you know just mm-hmm. common things probably things that nobody could fix in a miniature setting just things that happen. Yeah, they do sometimes miniatures have problems and everything yeah like that so shipping handling whiz kids we used to use we used a lot of whiz kids miniatures for the D and D crowd because they liked them they came yep. out with it. when they first came out they were great they were like uh like they were like three ninety nine or something like that a pack and you got two Ooh. and yeah it was. And it was, and I understand pricing and everything. Three ninety, but you got two miniatures that were good quality, pre primed. You pick them up, and they were good. I don't know what's happening, but you also had the pre painted ones where you open up the booster boxes. Which, by the way, uh, new sets come in Planescape, so we got expect schedule. a live stream from us. So uh, they're coming, and uh, I don't have a problem with those guys with those miniatures. All right, so they're doing a lot of different things, which I should have paid attention more to Gamma about what they're doing but i heard they're they're coming out with separate boxes and bases for the miniatures and i don't know but my particular problem with them right now is their pricing i'll give you an example of games workshop everybody's like games workshop this or it's expensive or whatever but you get what you pay for games workshop miniatures are solid they're good they're they 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 back their quality they have excellent art and they're all good and you pay for that I don't get many complaints about the miniatures. Maybe some of them are a little overly complicated and you need instructions to put them together, yeah. but that's what that's a, it's a model at that point. And you know, it's part of the hobby. Like Legos. Yeah. Oh yeah, Legos. Nobody complains about getting ridiculous <laughs> instructions from Legos. They're actually pretty easy instructions. They do a good job. <laughs> so my thing is that when games workshops prices are set so that if they spend if it costs me more they raise their retail price. Hey, this model was $60. Now it's $63 because my price went up. So my price went up. Games Workshop raises their retail. And I don't need to call Wizards, WizKids out, but I have a problem because I'll get the products from WizKids or, you know, for, through my distributor because I don't deal direct with them. And this isn't the distributor. I don't think you can deal direct. I don't know if you can through WizKids. I don't, I've never Maybe tried. Maybe you've got a special connection or I something. I don't know. So I don't know if I've tried, but the problem is, is they list their retail price on their site as a certain price. Then I get my invoice of what I paid for that. There's no way I can sell it at that price and still be profitable. You know, I can't do it. It's not like I'm trying to like gouge the public or, you know, do whatever. I'm just trying to there's a certain amount I have to mark it up for in order to stay survivable. Yeah. So they don't raise their retail price on their products, but they raise my price. Well, then what happens is I have to mark my price higher than their retail on their website and everything else they do. So then what happens is customers come in and go, well, on the site it's four ninety nine, just for an example. Well, you're selling it for five twenty nine. Well, I have to, you know, I'm sorry. That's just the price, you know, like, you know, that's why we offer discounts and coupons and stuff every once in a while. But I'm a little, a little miffed about that. Yeah, I'm not angry. It just doesn't make any sense because I'm starting. We're going to carry. You've seen the Reaper miniatures, right? Yeah. Reaper, I can deal with directly. Reapers, this is our price. This is what you pay. That's the same thing. If their price goes up, my price goes up. If my price goes up, their price goes up. You know, as their advertised price. So. And they have good quality stuff. They have plastics, pre-made, metal, you know, yeah. all that good stuff. So I, I'm going to, I am moving over to Reaper Miniatures. You know, I'll still carry the pre-painted uh, uh, booster boxes for the D&D because that's what they like. But as far as the small miniatures, I might, I might have to move up because it's like, it's a lot of work and I feel bad because it's like, they do advertise them for 
whatever set price. And then when I get mine, I have to raise it above that retail. So that, you know, upsets a customer like, oh, are you, are you overcharging? Well, no, that's what I need. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to overcharge you, but if I charge that price, I can't, I can't keep stocking. Yeah, you're not making anything. So right. it's just so much aggravation. You know, I'm not making anything on it. I'm getting aggravation from the customers and I'm not upset about the customers. Like they have, you know, it's yeah. a legitimate question. You're shopping here. You know, I, I want to keep you shopping here, but you know, I can't, there's that funny balance. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm how, how much do they raise this price by usually? Like, you know, how much well, they it's raise increments of percentages by? or yeah, whatever. You know? percentage and I don't want to throw it out there, but it's like. Right. Just like it, four or five bucks. Sometimes. Yeah. I'm trying to explain to like customers who shop why my price might be higher than what whiz kids. Right. Because not many people understand that, you know, conception of like, why, why would your price be higher? Because mm -hmm. the basis of the business has basically been. To yeah, have a fair a, price. yeah, whatever I pay, I need a certain percentage above that to stay, you know, afloat. And if I can't do that and it, it keeps shrinking. Have they came out and talked about this at all? Have they, no, I, are I, other stores experiencing either, any other issues? They have all? to, I can't see where they wouldn't, you know, but you see it if you go to the retail stores or something like that, you, you'll see the price higher. The one that I always understand, like, I don't want to say call out a big box store, but if you look at a big box store and you go there and their price is a certain amount because they have a set markup, they're right on. You know what I'm saying? So even though, well, this is this much online, well, you know, they'll say, well, this is what we're charging, you know, but at the same time, they're bigger box. So they're going to have like coupons and discounts and all yeah. that other stuff more than we can do. It'll leave, you know, I'm not complaining about, oh well, yeah, I kind of am. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. But I, I just want customers to realize that, hey, listen, we're not like trying to like grab a couple extra pennies off yeah you. this is just my markup of what i need to do you know we need yeah. to do to stay in business if you, you know? wanted to the magic packs would have been ten dollars now yeah, yeah you know the magic well, some, some of them are some yeah are. some are i mean you magic's know, gotten better i think it's it's getting the the the, map, the market dictates what the yeah. price is which is fine you know but magic doesn't put a price on it you know um lorcana they don't yeah they, lorcana does but at least they're Right pretty on. stagnant. Yeah, yeah pretty, it's pretty, pretty accurate thin. and stagnant. But yeah, it's just it's making me move instead of me with all that aggravation of like having this problem. I'm just going to move to a different company, and the, the other company is just as good and it's been around longer and it's it's older and it's got cooler stuff. It's just a matter of me stocking it up. And if there's any other store owners watching this video, let us know if you have the same experience. Yeah, in maybe. The comments. Yeah, maybe it's me. Sometimes I live in a, a vacuum, you know, or. A, and sometimes our distributors are what we got. And, like, yeah. you know, no, and I'm not complaining about my distributor at all because whatever he's giving me is the best price I can get, especially my main guy. Yeah. That's the best price I can get. So I'm not complaining about him at all. I know that's whatever he's charging me, he's got to charge me because there's a, you know, he pays whatever he pays and they need a markup and then I need my markup and then you guys get it. It's just business, you know. I know that's shocking to some people, but that's business. Some so. people don't know too. It's just educating you guys. So, but I, I just wanted to throw it out there that, you know, and I hate to say that about WizKids because they do have nice miniatures. They do have good yeah, stuff. They do. They got critical role going on. Yeah, I mean, customers like it, but I just, it's harder and harder. You got to do something about that retail price. You can't, yeah. you can't keep raising your price and then not lowering the retail price. You know, they kind of, kind of screws the, uh, the brick and mortar guys. Yep. You know, that we're the ones who display your stuff and pump it out there, you know? Yes. It's because of us. Well, just kidding. <laughs> but that was my uh, my spiel about that. Yeah. So. Please discuss in the comments or let, let us know if you have any is similar issues or um, if you need clarification on anything. Yeah. That's just kind of like a, a little rant I was doing. But if you like this content, give it a like, give it a subscribe. And uh, if you really like us, give us a join. That helps support us, get better equipment, pay for everything around here. Everything goes to here, over yeah, here. We're starting to get more videos and everything like that. So, all right, guys. Thanks for your time.